Do you know, every now and then, not very often, but every now and then, you find a product that you really connect with, that you really like and you really resonate with. Now this Emotion N1 Netflix projector, I bought it, it wasn't given to me to review, I bought it myself because my projector broke and I'll show you my old projector. But this one is just so much better. The ease of use, the functionality, the swiftness, how slick it is. It's an LED lamp for a start, so the bulb will last for 30,000 hours, something like 20 years before you need to worry about the bulb. The quality, it's full HD 1080p. Um, sound quality, well, it Bluetooths to my soundbar, but just the feel, the look, the structure of it, and just the way it works. Anyway, let me show you. So you can see it there looking really small and discreet just on top of the aircon unit in the man cave. You know, it, it doesn't take up much room. It's very tidy, very neat. Now the old one, as you'll see here, this is my old ultra short throw projector. Three remote controls, one for the sound card, one for the Kodi box, one for the projector itself. Loads of buttons to figure out all the time. Although it was good to have the, you know, the big screen there, all the cables, all the leads, all the plugs it was just a bit of a nightmare really compared to this this newer one i did wire in a, a dvd player as well which i didn't really use very much and you can still use the dvd on the um, n1 projector but yeah it, just a different world altogether so much better with the smaller unit very discreet very tidy just a nice looking thing isn't it it's just a lot more compact and a lot more user friendly so looking at the back there, you can see there's a USB connector just to plug a memory stick in, HDMI there, you've got the LAN input there so you can have it directly onto your LAN rather than using the Wi-Fi, or you can use Wi-Fi, and you've got the line out as well which is for your sound if you want to take the sound to an external speaker, however it does have Bluetooth connectivity for that. The remote control very neat, very tidy, Netflix button pre-installed as was the button for YouTube the button for Prime Video and look just look how many buttons are there's so few buttons on it I thought well this can't do very much but I'll show you a bit later on how it, how it functions and how easy and intuitive the control method is because that remote control really does work extremely well so here is a demonstration of the machine in action so you've got the settings there for USB home and HDMI there so here's the home screen and you've got YouTube YouTube kids screencast if you want to mirror the screen of your tablet, Bluetooth speaker, it can act as a Bluetooth speaker and it can Bluetooth to a soundbar. We'll go into Netflix in a moment but first I want to show you this menu here. This is in the input menu, you've got HDMI, home and USB. Here's the settings menu. We'll go back to the USB menu because I want to just quickly show you this. If I click on that, I've got an external hard drive plugged in and it just comes up as an expansion and you can go through all the different files and watch any of your movies that you've got stored on there. Really easy to, or just plug a USB stick in. Um, back to the home screen then. And you'll see here we can go into YouTube if we wish. Netflix, very quick and very intuitive, straight in. Just log in as you normally would. And there you go, ready to watch. When you first switch it on, it can take three seconds to actually be up on Netflix. So really clever, but it's not just for watching Netflix. You can watch all kinds of other things with this projector as well, same as any other projector. So I'm just toggling through the menus there, just showing you how quick it is and how easy it is just to select a film and watch it. Very convenient. And as I say, there's not many buttons on the remote control, but as you start to use it, you start to see just how easy and intuitive it is. Everything's very functional. a time long ago when women ruled with unparalleled power. Come back out of that. There's a few more things I'd like to show you so I just want to probably go back to the normal home screen in a moment. And you can see just there's the home screen as we said before and I'll probably go up at the top left there and across into settings and then you've got all kinds of setup features there. Now, different picture modes you can have for different settings like vivid, sport, standard. And you can adjust it to quite a high contrast and brightness level. Now, the blacks are really, really black on it and the whites are really clear. So it's quite an impressive picture quality. It gives a rating of 500 ANSI, but it seems a lot brighter than that. Now, this is the different options for your different projector placements. 
so you can use it for all kinds of different um, requirements depending on how you want to set your projector up. Audio settings, bass, treble, surround sound, extra hidden menus there as well that I didn't even know were there until I started playing around with it. Auto focus or manual focus and for manual focus you literally just push the remote control up and down until it gives you the perfect focus and then you just press back again very easy to use auto focus on motion we'll turn that on quite a handy little hidden feature there and I did also want to show you the keystone correction obviously it's got the automatic option which is fine but I really like the way the manual one works now the way the manual one works you just literally click on it and then you can move it left and right up and down in each four corner of the image and when you press OK it goes to the next corner and you can really get it dialed in exactly where you want it very straightforward very very easy to use especially when you're repositioning the projector for a, a different room we'll turn that on auto correction on motion so another little hidden menu there to find and that's probably about it really you know I'm keeping it quite straightforward this keeping it simple and it is a very as I say it's not a particularly complicated piece of kit to use I'll jump into Amazon Prime show you that and I think you'll see very very quick to respond and the quality is as you'd expect from a, a full HD 1080p projector so I'll put all the main technical features in the description I'm not going to bore you with them on this part of the video here now so if you want to look at the specs have a look on there And uh, yeah, if you're interested in getting one, check them out on Amazon and such. Plenty available now. Some good offers on it at the moment as well with it. But I really, really like this product. I find it really easy to use. And I was really excited to do a video about it because every now and then you come across it that you really like. And this definitely ticks that box for me. Thanks for watching. And if you can like and subscribe, it really helps the channel and helps us do future productions.